Assalamualaikum salam. Dear voters of Marseling and UT, my name is Daman Huri bin Abbas. Together with John Tan, Brian Lim, and Dr. Wong, we are standing as the candidates to represent you in Parliament for your GRC. I am a father of five children, married to my wife, who is a teacher in a neighborhood school. I grew up in Lorong 6 Topayo, in Block 52, in a one-room flat with eight other siblings. And with my parents, we number 10 in total, in a small house we call home. We move about, as my late father is a fireman. And when he got a job in Pulau Bukom, the whole family moved to that island to live for four years. My parents brought up their eight children to the best that they can. And over the years, we moved back to Topayo and then finally resided in Tabernes. Almost exactly a week ago, I was like you, just a normal Singaporean, getting along with life, business as usual. Then I made a decision that will change my life forever. A decision that wasn't easy to make, but a decision that I made after thinking very hard about my life and the country in which I am a proud citizen. That decision was to enter politics, which by now I believe has shocked many people that know me. In SDP and in politics, I am a newbie. I come before you, my fellow Singaporean, with my heart. I enter politics with 20 years of community experience, serving both my own Malay community and the bigger Singapore society. In this next few... In this next few days of campaigning, I hope to let you know about me, the SDP, and what we stand for, for you, Singaporean. With, with your kind understanding and concern, let me begin my speech tonight in our national language, which is my mother tongue. <coughs> Pada 11 September 2015 ini, anda rakyat Singapura berpeluang menulis sejarah baru untuk negara Singapura yang tercinta ini. 9 Ogos yang lalu, Kita bersama-sama menjambut SG50 dengan penuh bangga sebagai rakyat Singapura. Pada hari itu, kita telah sama-sama berdiri menyanjikan lagu kebangsaan kita dengan penuh semangat patriotik. Apapun bangsa dan agama kita, kita semua adalah rakyat Singapura yang satu, sehati dan sejiwa. Sesuatu berlaku pada diri saya pada malam itu. SG50 telah membangkitkan di dalam jiwa saya suatu semangat baru untuk menyumbang langsung untuk membina negara Singapura yang adil dan saksama selari dengan kemajuan lain yang telah kita kecapi dan berterusan dan menjadi lebih gemilang lagi. Kita dapat lihat betapa indahnya negara Singapura yang kita dan ibu ayah dan serta datuk nenek bangunkan bersama. Tak kira sama ada mereka orang Cina, Melayu maupun India. Namun, di sebalik kegemilangan ini, masih lagi ada kecacatan di mana laungan meritokrasi masih merupakan slogan semata. Diskriminasi terhadap golongan minoriti masih berlaku. Ini adalah sesuatu yang akan menghambat kita untuk bersatu Sebagai rakyat Singapura, kita semua rakyat Singapura, tak kira Cina, Melayu maupun India. Kita hanya ada pulau kecil ini dan boleh kita dengan bangganya mengatakan sebagai negara kita. Pada usia saya yang 45 tahun ini, saya menghauskan kesatuan dan kesetia kawanan yang tulen. 
SDP adalah sebuah parti yang melaungkan dengan lantangnya visi Singapura yang adil, makmur dan saksama. SDP adalah sebuah parti yang berjuang untuk membela golongan terpinggir di masyarakat kita. Di SDP, kesatuan dan kesetia kawanan rakyat Singapura yang kita semua idamkan bersinar-sinar antara kita. Sebagai calon wakil rakyat anda, saya bersama-sama dengan rakan-rakan John, Brian dan Dr. Wong akan berusaha untuk merealisasikan polisi-polisi SDP dalam bidang ekonomi, pendidikan, kekeluargaan, kesihatan dan lain-lain. Polisi-polisi SDP adalah pro-keluarga, pro-rakyat dan pro-Singapura. Kita tidak nafikan kejayaan negara tercinta ini. Namun sekarang, semua rakyat merasakan beban kehidupan yang disebabkan oleh kenaikan kos melambung tinggi tanpa batas. Apabila harga minyak mentah berjumlah 100 dolar Amerika, rakyat disuruh bersabar dengan alasan kenaikan harga barang dan sebagainya disebabkan oleh harga minyak yang mahal. Tetapi sekarang harga minyak mentah dah menjunam lebih dari separuh. Rakyat tak merasakan apa pun kesan turun harga barang secepat ianya naik. Siapa yang meraih untung daripada ini? Padahal rakyat hanya mampu bersabar. Siapakah yang berani menyoalkan kepada mereka terhadap perkara ini? Sekarang seorang pasangan muda yang baru menikah dan membeli rumah yang semakin lama semakin kecil saiznya. Anda akan dibelenggu dengan hutang sepanjang 25 hingga 30 tahun kerana harga rumah itu terlalu mahal. Dan kita harus bekerja seumur hidup hanya untuk melangsaikan hutang tersebut. Kita semua menjadi hamba hutang. Haruskah ini berterusan? Tiadakah solusi untuk ini? Apakah sebabnya harga rumah melambung begitu tinggi? Masukkan kami ke Parlimen agar kami dapat menanyakan soalan-soalan ini kepada menteri-menteri yang terkaya di dunia. Kita sebagai rakyat Singapura masih diperbudakkan apabila hak kita untuk mengeluarkan wang CPF pada umur 55 tahun diperpanjangkan sehingga sekarang hampir mustahil untuk kita menikmati wang simpanan yang kita telah bertungkus lumus usahakan sepanjang umur hidup kita. CPF itu wang mereka ke wang kita? Sekarang kita disuruh turut, disuruh terus, terus bekerja sehingga 67 tahun. Apakah artinya kemajuan negara ini dengan bangunan-bangunan yang serba indah? Simpanan negara yang ditaksirkan sebesar 1 trilion dolar apabila kita sanggup melihat datuk-datuk dan nenek-nenek kita yang sepatutnya berehat setelah hidup begitu lama masih lagi disuruh bekerja. Di manakah sifat ihsan kita rakyat Singapura? Cukuplah rakyat ku yang tercinta. Telah tiba waktunya untuk kita mengubah keadaan masyarakat kita membangunkan sebuah negara yang lebih ihsan dan penyayang, yang adil dan saksama. Undilah SDP. Terima kasih. And now my speech in English. I am nominated in the SDP team as a candidate representing the minority community. The minority community would be the Malays, Indians, other minority races, and the minority groups. That will be a role that I intend to play, should I be entrusted to do so in parliament, on top of my major role to represent all residents of Masiling and UT GRC. Let us now talk 
about one such issue, one that has stood out in the Malay community as a sore thumb for 50 years, which is wearing of tudong among practitioners within certain segments of the uniform group professions, namely Malay women in the nursing profession. During the press conference announcing my candidacy, I did mention, I hope not in any way intended to offend the majority race, that after 50 years, maybe it's time for Malay women nurses who chooses to wear the tudong be allowed to do so. The reason, the reason I cited was the fact that the wearing of the tudong in no way at all impede on her professional role as nurses. In fact, it is even hygienic to do so for obvious reasons, as it covers the hair. Furthermore, in all advanced societies in the Western world, especially like Australia, the US, the UK, the Europe, and Europe, the Muslim nurses have no problem wearing the tudong and become nurses performing their professional role admirably. Yet today, we still have that prohibition imposed upon Malay women nurses in Singapore who wish to wear the tudong. In my own experience in raising this issue to relevant authorities and in the collective effort of the Malay community to seek a change of policy from the government on this, the reason cited for refusing has always been the claim that this may infringe upon the comfort of the other communities, especially the majority community. But all the while, no evidence of this was given. The Malay community, again, is puzzled because that position of the government truly do not in any way reflect the reality on the ground. Firstly, Malay women wearing the tudong is the most common sight in our society. As common as the flowering jasmine on a beautiful spring day. They are all over, teachers in schools, staffs of the MRT, bank officers, the McDonald lady, the female Silat exponent in the recent SEA Games, and your next door Machi. And that is just to name a few. The last thing I thought that would happen should Malay nurses tomorrow be allowed to wear the tudong is to hurt the feelings of the auntie and the uncle at the polyclinic and hospitals because of that. Look, can I say something to assure my beloved Singaporean from the majority race? My beloved fellow countrymen, when we, the society, allows the professional Malay nurses to wear the tudong, I guarantee you they will look beautiful and clean. Just like the Honourable. Just like the Honourable Madam Halima and all the female PAP Malay candidates on show in this general election. Don't they look awesome in those white tudong? They wear. They look like nurses. There is really nothing to fear, my fellow Singaporean. Fellow countrymen, no matter whether you are Huaren, Malay Ren, Into Ren, we are all Singaporean. Let us unite together and live that unity that we say. The SDP stands before you as a credible party that will serve you, the people of Marsiling and UTGRC, and Singapore. The SDP calls for transparency and accountability in government. The SDP wants for each and every one of our Singaporean an economic system that truly benefits and serves the people. The SDP wants to give back the power to you, the people. The people, 
the people in parliament are your servants and not your masters. They are to serve the people and not enrich themselves and justify it by the fanciful title of a minister. The PAP government claims that a low paid minister will feel embarrassed to discuss with a multi millionaire CEO. Then I say to you if he or she is not fit to serve the people, if you don't have the courage to stand before a rich man to demand justice for the poor, then you are not fit to represent the people. The SDP is for a government that is made of people with courage of steel to stand before anyone and demand justice for the common people. Dr. Wong, John, Brian and I are here to be your voice in parliament. Enough is enough. Let us together bring back the real power to the people. <clears throat> I have two more things to say. Just a short one. First is about Dr. Chi. You know what Lawrence Wong did to him right on TV? Look, people, we must not stoop low to such things. The opposition has never had a level playing field in politics in this country. We want to change that, and we will only change that if you vote us in parliament. There is so, so many examples of how skewed the system is to PAP. Do you seriously want me to list them down? Second is about CD, my fellow SDP candidate. I know he had a rough start during his press conference, which I have still not seen up till today. Only heard about it. But look, CD is here to represent the minority. He may not be good in his Malay, but surely he has the courage to come forward and be counted. Unlike so many of those Malay champions who only shout the loudest but cower when asked to be seen. This is SDP. We are different. Why was Sidhe fitted in Holland Bukit Timah? Even though the number of Malay voters is very few, it shows that for us in SDP, unlike the PAP, no matter how few your numbers are, we want, to be, we want you to be represented because that is your right to be heard. And that is why Sidhe is in Holland Bukit Timah. I better end here before I get the red card. Majula Singapura, vote us into parliament, vote for SDP. Thank you very much. Siasiani, Nandri, terima kasih.